Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, today we're going to be working on the first part of our Hadoop installation series and this will be dealing with uh, first of all installing VMware tools on our virtual machine here uh, in the VMware uh, workstation. Um, the first step that we have to do is we have to get into a terminal session and uh, the other thing that I'm going to show you first before we get anything going is I'm going to show you the settings for my virtual machine so you understand what, what I've got set up here. I'm running uh, Ubuntu uh, 16. <clears throat> I have uh, two gigs of memory and one processor. Uh, my shared folders, uh, I have one shared folder named shared and it is pointing to a USB drive. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of this. Now, um, in order to, first of all, install our uh, VMware tools, we have to do a sudo command. And we're going to do an apt-get install, and it's open-vm-tools. We put in our password here. Now, as it downloads, it takes a little bit of time for some of these processes, so uh, I may pause for a, a brief couple of moments while uh, some of the processes are taking place. Okay, we're ready to go here. We're going to check to see that the service is actually running now. Okay, so we, from here we type service and then the name of the package we just installed. So it's open-vm-tools and then we ask for the status shows that it's active and running and it doesn't look like there's any problems so we'll quit out of that. The other thing we're going to do is uh, double check what the name of our share actually is. Um, so we can do this with this command right here <coughs> and I'm going to do a paste directly from there. I just simply copied and pasted it. Okay, and it shows that our, our shared uh, or shared is the name of our, our folders that we're sharing here, if you recall from the settings. Okay, now what we also have to do is run a config. It's a Perl script, script. and again, I'm going to copy that, paste it, and I'm going to run this. Okay, um, and yes, I'm going to overwrite it. Yes, overwrite. There's, I probably ran this before and uh, didn't delete these things, so yours probably won't uh, come up with any of those comments there. Okay, so we've got a bunch of information that's coming up. You should take a look at it. Just make sure you understand what it's actually saying. Um, everything seems to be uh, the norm, so I'm going to keep moving on. So uh, this one here is asking if I want to um, have my shared folders, and that was the whole reason I set this up. So I'm going to say uh, yes. Okay, I probably could have just pushed enter there. Um, I'm not going to worry about this one. Uh, printing drivers, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll set that up. I didn't really have to set up printing drivers and I don't print anything from my virtual machine, but why not? If we can have it, we'll go for it. Okay, we're all completed. And uh, now the next thing we have to do is uh, just set up a link on our desktop. All right, I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna use this command I always have these things sort of set up, ready to go for me while I'm doing these, so I am cheating a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, let's go for it here. I think we're pretty good. Hopefully we've got a nice link on our desktop, and we'll see what we've got. Looking great. Okay, we have shared that is linked to a folder, and that is linked to my scripts that are directly on my Windows machine. Awesome. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to going to do, because I've just installed some things, I always think it's a good practice to just do a reboot, um, and uh, that will close off our video for now, and 
I'll catch you in the next session where we install our um, updates and uh, SSH so that we can do uh, WinSCP. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember to like and share, and please subscribe. Take care.